in here, when we was trying to balance this, what we did was we multiplied this 2 by, by this entity. And so it will be 2 for the for the sulfur, which we have here. Um, but the 2 also goes for the oxygen as well. So it's going to be 2 times 2, which gives us which gives us 4. Okay. And notice that this one, remember when we said 2 multiplied by a half, well, that gave us 1. So we have 1 times 2, which means that we have 2 also for the oxygen. So now we have 4 plus 2, which is 6. All right. And here, when we look at this one, this is going to be this 2, right? So this 2 um, multiplied by this entity. Um, it's telling us that we have 2 sulfur, but it also tells us that we have 2 times 3. 2 times 3 oxygen. So what is 2 times 3? Well, 2 times 3 is definitely 6. So this is wrong. This is incorrect. It's actually supposed to be 6. Okay. And so once we notice that we have 6 for oxygen on this side and 6 for oxygen on this side, 2 for sulfur on this side and 2 for sulfur on this side, then we know that our chemical equation is balanced. Okay, so let's consider our next question. All right, so if we look at this one, we have Na plus S8. And that's going to give us Na2 and S1. So the first thing we need to do is determine our reactants and our products. So on this side, we have the reactants. And on this side, we'll have the products. Now for Na, there's only one. Sorry, let's write this properly. For Na on this side, there's only two. For S, we have eight. And for S here, we have one. And so notice that there's an imbalance. We have one here and two here, eight here and six, and sorry, eight here and one here. So there's clearly an imbalance. Okay, so let's balance the equation. All right, so notice that for our for our x we have eight, and here we only have one. So what can we multiply by one to give us eight? The answer is eight itself, so we can put an eight there. And so we have 8 for sulfur on this side and 8 for sulfur on this side. But also note that if that we have here for sodium, for Na, it's going to be 8 times 2. 8 times 2. But 8 times 2 is 16. So on the, on the, pro, on the reactant side, we'll have 16. But on the product side, we only have 1. So we have to increase that so it's going to be 16. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this video. Moving forward in other videos, we will look at more chemical balancing chemical equations.